Now, do you remember your school dinners? They've changed quite a lot over the years and now the focus is more plant-based meals. A school in Peterborough has been recognised nationally for the menu it's laying on for students, but do the students like the change or do they miss the meat? Emma Bohr reports. Gone are the days of the old school dinners. Boiled liver and kidney shown the door as the Thomas Deacon Academy embraces more meat-free meals. So we do probably about six or seven different choices each day for our right across the board. Uh, and to protein, we put a lot of vegetables, pulses, uh, to encourage the children to eat it more. And obviously it gives them the new nutritional value for their process as well. So. Um, but you're not forcing children to eat? Not forcing them, no, it's their own choice. We encourage them. We do tasting sessions for them so they can taste what the food's going to be like. Here they serve more than a thousand meals a day. Meat's not banned, but students are encouraged to eat more plant-based food. So I had the um, meatless um, meatballs and pasta and I quite enjoyed it because it was um, a great addition to my everyday meals that I'm not used to. If you just think more about like these type of food and it, not about the like the beef burgers and stuff, uh, it will like make you think twice and some people even go vegan or vegetarian because of like these types of food. It's a great idea to have a vegetarian um, because some people might be vegetarian and vegan and um, those people that are included in that category can enjoy uh, a delicious um, school meal without any hesitation. But um, don't you ever fancy a beef burger or a turkey twizzler? Yeah I do, I, I enjoy um, them but like having um, a plant based food is also nice. The Academy's been given national recognition by a charity looking for the most sustainable school menu in the country. Children care about climate change more than any other generation and so many of them are wanting now to eat less meat and dairy and more plant-based food for the future of the planet. So we're delighted to recognise Thomas Deacon Schools for embracing more plant-based food. The school says it's about encouraging students to try something new. Curiosity in this project is just making our students pause, reflect and think about well, what is that fuel I'm putting in my body and I just think that's a really important thing that we've done with this project and we're just thrilled to have been part of it. The meat free meals do cost less, is this about cost cutting? We want value for money but it's not about cutting costs, it's about ensuring that we think about nutritional value but also ethically sourced products. Our students are the next generation of young adults so this is about giving them experiences in their decision making. They hope that what's happening here might help shape school dinners for the future. 